First of all, it's very clear from your response uh, earlier at leaders' questions that you're not even aware of the government's legal obligations under the Genocide Convention to act to prevent in, a genocide, incitement to genocide, or complicity with genocide. And I would strongly urge you to uh, check on your obligations under that, because they are very onerous and with very good reason, because that convention was established in 1948 after the Holocaust to ensure genocides never happen again. And I can assure you, all of the experts, including many Jewish uh, experts on Holocaust are saying that what is Israel is doing in Gaza fits the definition of genocide and that the world is failing in its obligation to prevent that. But I also want to ask about hostages in, um, in Gaza. I mean, obviously there are 2.3 million hostages and have been for 16 years uh, whose exit and entry into Gaza is controlled by Israel, a war, a war crime by the way. Uh, but Irish hostages specifically, although some have left uh, and some of their families have arrived home, there are some that Israel is not putting on the list. Uh, two of them include Zach Hania, who you will have seen on television uh, in recent weeks, describing the horror of how his family had been driven out of northern Gaza, uh, then being bombed in southern Gaza, uh, Mohammed Hania, uh, and there are others as far as, far as I know. Uh, Israel is holding them hostage um, and the question to you are in relation to them is what is the government doing to get the Irish hostages being held by Israel released that are still there, that they have absolutely no right, they have no right to hold on to people, to control uh, their exit or entry. They're Irish citizens. I mean, they've no right to control the exit and entry of anybody in Gaza, uh, to my opinion, even under international law, but they certainly have no right to prevent Irish citizens from leaving the horror that is Gaza. Uh, just in reply to Deputy Boyd Barrett, I, I, I'll certainly uh, seek, seek advice and, and, and get a note on our obligations under the Genocide Convention. I did on the International Criminal Court when you raised it a couple of weeks ago and what you said didn't turn out to be legally correct, um, but I'll certainly check it out. Um, I don't think it's helpful to get into a debate about what constitutes genocide and what doesn't. Um, I, don't, don't think it, I, 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 I don't, don't think it, it does help. Uh, you mentioned the Holocaust of Shoah being a genocide. Um, six million people killed by the Nazis would have killed another six million if they could. I know there are, uh, that there are active debates around the famine, around the treatment of indigenous populations in, in America and Australia, but I don't think what this should be about is, and if you want to use, use words like genocide and apartheid, I'm not going to dispute that, but I don't think that brings us anywhere or achieves anything. What this is about is making sure that we have a ceasefire, uh, that the killing stops, uh, that the hostages can be released uh, so that we can get aid into Gaza, and those are the things that are most important uh, in, 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 in my view, but I... I, I I'm happy to answer the questions, but like, it's, it's clear that when the deputy doesn't hear exactly what he wants to say, he just then shouts you down. I'm, and I've kind I'm of not shouting my, you down. kind of lost my, 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 my train Sorry. of thought uh, in, in, that, in that regard. But as I was saying earlier, what, what, what is clear is what the Palestinian people have faced for 75 years uh, is dispossession, uh, is uh, the loss of their lands, um, uh, is um, being made into refugees. Um, they've not got the level of support that they should have got fr from the international community to date, in my view. But the most important thing now is that we secure a ceasefire uh, so that the violence stops, so the killing stops, so that aid can get into Gaza, so hostages can get out. And then the only solution, um, and I know the deputies disagree with this, but in my view is a two-state solution. Because if the two peoples that inhabit that area aren't able to live together, well then it's better that, that they live in separate states, and both of those states need to be, need to be viable uh, and, need, and need to be secure. Uh, in relation to Irish citizens in, in Gaza um, uh, who are there, um, almost all that want to leave and their dependents are now out, or at least the majority are, and we're working on a few further cases, um, and we engage with the Israeli authorities, we engage with the Egyptian authorities on this, the Jordanian authorities and others, and I know there are people who want us to expel the Israeli ambassador um, being able to talk to the Israeli ambassador uh, at least gave us someone to talk to when it came to getting our citizens out of Gaza. Uh, and I, I want to acknowledge that uh, and the work of the Egyptians as well, uh, and also the, the Jordanians in, in that regard. Uh